It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Liza Fjord and Microbrewery and it's the Imperial Brown Ale coming in at 7.5% ABV and it's a collaboration between Infernus Phobus and Liza Fjord and Microbrewery. And this is the song. You need to Google this song and maybe play it while you're watching this beer review. Uh, Radix Molocom. Uh, let's get it out into a glass, see what we get. Lies if you're on the microbrewery, but of course, based in Norway, in Bergen in Norway. If you haven't tried their beers already, you must try their beers, they're absolutely incredible. Let's get the beer out into a glass, see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the bottle opening. Beer in the glass then. Look at that! Looks really good. We've got a two finger tan coloured head. We've got a dark brown ale in the glass. A little bit of carbonation hanging around. You can see the colour of the beer there. The little bit of light bleeding through from the light. That's probably a good representation of what the real colour of the beer looks like. What I'm looking at with my eyes rather than what the camera is showing you. The camera is showing a jet black beer. It's more like that little bit of light there. Um, let's get the aroma. <laughs> Coffee, roasted malt, chocolate, caramel. And we got a one finger tan colored head. Good carbonation, slightly hazy beer. Lots of roasted flavors coming through. Chocolate, coffee, caramel. It smells really good. I'm going to dive in. Oh, a nutty too. I just had a little bit of a nutty thing going on there. Cheers. <clears throat> oh. This is an incredible, incredible beer. I want to do a, a like a calm stone the crows, but I can't. Stone the crows, stone the crows. I've got to be calm with it because the beer's so like. This is a proper light the fire, put a pipe in your mouth, put your slippers on, lay back in front of the in front of the roaring fire and enjoy the beer. But it just wants to kind of like relax you, just just oh just yeah. But at the same time there's so much there's so much flavour going on. It's, it's like this this creamy, milky, wonderful, nutty, thick mouthfeel. A little bit of carbonation pushes the beer on the inside of the mouth. Then there's a touch of raisin and plum and, and, and prune <laughs> on the back end. There's this real nuttiness, this brown ale nuttiness, like, like almonds and, and hazelnuts. Then there's chocolate, coffee, caramel flavours come from the roasted malt. It's just, it's just a really, really good beer. Coffee comes through from the roasted malt. Coffee flavour comes through from the roasted malt. Followed by a little bit of sweet caramel. Followed back by maybe a touch of milk chocolate. Maybe a touch of dark chocolate. There's, there's a touch of vanilla in the beer. <clears throat> Let's see if it's bottle conditioned. Look at it. This is a complete work of art. Look at that for a beer. 7.5%. The heads, the head retention's really good. Just, just incredible. Mm. 
Rooney produced an Imperial Brown Ale about two years ago and I remember speaking to Rooney about it because I was just drinking, I was at the brewery and I was drinking bottle after bottle after bottle of this stuff and it was getting to the point where it was getting ridiculous. I was just all over the place because I just loved this beer so much. And I remember having a chat to him about this particular beer and saying is there lactose and he said no, no lactose, uh, nothing to to, to kind of really kind of cream up that mouthfeel like, like when I say nothing I don't mean like like the things that you would normally use like lactose which is a, a byproduct of milk maybe oats I can't quite remember if they brewed it with oats uh, brewed with water malted barley hops and yeast that is incredible the mouthfeel on this beer for 7.5% ABV and the amount, of the, the amount of malt that they've used and you would just think, yes, yes, there's, there's either lactose or there's either oats in the beer. There's not. There's not. It's all done with the roasted malt. Not just the roasted malt, but the regular malts that they've used in the beer. I wouldn't be surprised if the brewer has used about six or seven, maybe even eight different malt varieties in this beer to get that depth that body, that mouthfeel. It's absolutely incredible. I'm going to rate it. Incredible, incredible beer. Uh, Leiserfjord Microbrewery based in Bergen in Norway. It's the, it's the Radox Malacum Imperial Brown Ale, 7.5% ABV in collaboration with the rock band Infernus Phobus. I, I am definitely going to go and have a listen to some of their music now. I'm going to have a listen to this song. Uh, for me, this beer is a Stone the Crows, Stonewall, 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comment. Oh, before I go, I just put this t shirt on and I'm not overly advertising lies if you're in microbrewery. It's just I'm friends with the head brewer. I have lots of his clothing and I just grabbed whatever t-shirt was in the drawer. Um, I didn't put it on by purpose. It's just something I'm wearing. So, 10 out of 10. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.